Okay, so this is a quick and dirty video to show you how to finish the armhole. The reason that I've got the dress laid out in front of me here, the reason that I wrote the instructions this way is this enables you to either add a sleeve at this point or you can do a sleeveless version as well. I'm gonna show you how to do the sleeveless version. I just sewed this one, I haven't finished it or anything. But it's a, it's a little different than what you might be accustomed to. What we're going to do is reach in, we're gonna turn the dress inside out by reaching in between the dress fabric, the front dress fabric, and the front dress lining. So I just flipped the dress fabric up a little bit to show you what we're doing. I'm gonna reach right in between here, and I'm gonna go all the way up to the armhole. And we get, when we get up here to the armhole, I'm going to grab the dress fabric at the armhole, at the princess seam is a good spot, and I'm going to grab the dress lining as well. So I'm turning them both in to each other, and then I'm going to pull them out through the bottom of the dress. So I'm just pulling the whole dress inside out. I've got both layers here, okay? And now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna sit down with my pins here, and I'm going to pin those two fabrics right side together, all the way from the shoulder seam to the side seam. So I'll start at the princess seam, just because that's an easy place to match. And then I'm going to work my way all the way up. Maybe I'll pin the shoulder seam next. So just, just we're just doing the front half of the armhole. We're not doing the back yet. If you do the back, you'll be stuck. You won't be able to turn the dress right side out again. So here I am at the shoulder seam. I'm just going to pin those two layers together. And then I'll put another pin here between the shoulder seam and the princess seam. And then I'm going to work my way down to the side seam as well. There's a notch here that's technically for the sleeve, but there's no reason we can't use it for the armless version or the, the sleeveless version as well, armless version. And then here's the side seam. So just work a little bit at a time. Obviously, you know, you're working in the round here, so you can't completely smooth it, but you can smooth it portion by portion. So there's my side seam. And then if we go back and check, we've got side seam, princess seam, all the way up to the shoulder seam. So now I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew it with a half inch seam allowance. I'm gonna sew from that shoulder seam all the way down, little by little, all the way to the side seam, back stitch at both ends, and then I'll come back and we'll do the next part. Okay, so now I've sewn that front arm hole. You can see I've started from the shoulder seam. I've gone all the way down through the princess seam and right down to the side seam. Back stitching on both sides. And before I trim that, I actually wanna go and um, stitch the back as well. And that way I can just be sure everything is matching up and we're ready to go before I trim everything down. So let me turn it right side out again to do that, I'm going to reach in through the dress fabric, the outside dress fabric, and simply pull it right back out again. So let me put it back down on the floor here. <clears throat> and you can see now that this front armhole has been sewn. The back is still open, but the front is sewn. And it doesn't look pretty because we haven't trimmed down the seam allowances or anything like that, but it's been sewn, okay? So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna turn the dress over, and we're gonna do exactly the same thing to do the back. This time I'm going to reach down between the exterior back fabric and the lining back fabric. Again, I'm going to reach right up in through the armhole, and I'm going to grab the dress fabric at the princess seam and the lining at the princess seam, and I'm just gonna pull them down into the dress and turn the dress right side or wrong side out again, okay? And so now keeping hold of those, I'll bring it back so that I can finish pinning and stitching those, again, right side together. I'll put a pin in to hold them at the princess seam since that's an easy starting place. 
and then find the shoulder seam. Here we are. You can see where I finished stitching right there. I'll put another, another pin in about halfway to hold it. And then I'm going to go and find that side seam. Here's where I left off at the side seam. A few extra threads in here. There we go. There's where I left off. So I'll just put a pin in here again. Use those sleeve notches to help you orient yourself. And one more pin for security. There we go. So again, I'm going to go back to the sewing machine. I'm going to finish up where I left off, start at the shoulder seam, so all the way down along the back armhole, all the way down to the side seam. And I will be right back. Okay, so now I've sewn the back armhole. I've sewn from the shoulder seam again, all the way down the princess seam, and around to the side seam, all right? So at this point now, before I trim this, I want to check it to make sure it looks good. So again, from the right side of the, from the outside fabric, turn the outside fabric right side out. And let's lay it down on the floor just to take a quick look. So here is our newly stitched armhole. Everything appears to be smooth. It's puckering obviously because we haven't trimmed it down but I don't see any puckers or anything that looks too weird. So now at this point, I'm going to do the same thing I just did. I'm going to turn it right side out, wrong side out, sorry, through the front of the dress so I can trim this front armhole, then I turn it right side out again, flip it over, turn it wrong side out so you can see the back armhole, trim that down, and then once we've got it all trimmed down, I'll take it over to the iron and press it, and that's it, you've finished your armhole. Pretty easy, right?